Among the carnage that we've seen in the last month or so, REITs were one of the sectors that got hit pretty hard. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video own REITs like Realty Income or Simon Property Group. And you want to know if these companies will make it through this recession, through these tough times, and whether they'll face bankruptcy or they'll come out stronger. Now, if you want to see a specific video on me comparing these REITs, drop a like down below and leave a comment letting me know so I can get started on that video if that's something you guys want to see. REITs in general, though, have crashed harder than the broader market, down almost 43% at its lows. This was an extreme sell-off that scared many investors away from REITs because bankruptcy was, and in some cases still is, a realistic possibility. As a result, we saw some intense panic selling leading to sharp sell-offs in these stocks. Now, as a REIT investor, you have to really think about the future of these businesses. What they're experiencing right now is pretty drastic. In some cases, some of them are receiving pretty much zero dollars in revenue and some of their tenants are just not paying their rent. And this puts REITs in a tough spot because they still have to pay off their obligations regardless of whether tenants are paying or not. So really what it comes down to for these companies right now is their balance sheet. And it's incredibly important to understand how their balance sheet currently sits and if they have enough cash to weather through this storm. Another consideration is their dividends. A lot of you invest in these REITs for their high yield monthly dividends and that could be in jeopardy. However, because of these tough times that these companies are facing, some of them are forced to either suspend or cut their dividends completely so they can save up enough cash to pretty much survive through this. So if you were in these companies investing in them solely for the dividend, unfortunately you may see a lot of them cut those dividends over the next few weeks if they haven't done so already. And that's something you have to really consider moving forward with these companies. However, what this does let you do if you're still interested in REITs is to see which companies hold their dividends strong and maybe even raise their dividends through these tough times. Because it shows you that they're a very strong business and maybe that's where you want to put your capital into moving forward forward. Now kind of putting all this into perspective, I do understand that this current global issue we're going through is going to be temporary. It's probably going to be a few months, maybe up to a year. But at the same time, the reality is that a lot of businesses out there are not going to be able to get through this and they are going to file for bankruptcy. Retail companies are going to be among the hardest hit here because they rely on foot traffic, rely on people actually physically walking into their stores. And in most cases, the government has decided that those type of companies are not essential businesses and they must be shut down. So these companies are pretty much in a position where they're not earning any income and as a result may not be able to fulfill their obligations to these REIT companies. So it's kind of a twofold here because not only could the tenants of these REIT companies file for bankruptcy and shareholders get wiped out in that stock, but the REIT itself could also be hurt drastically and potentially in worst case file for bankruptcy and everyone holding that stock as well will also be wiped out. So specifically REITs like SPG, Simon Property Group, which is a mall REIT, will be hit very hard because their tenants are in malls and right now malls are more or less 100% shut down. Even once they open back up, chances are people won't want to go into malls or crowded spaces for a little while so revenues, in my opinion, will still be poor. On the flip side though, we have REITs like Realty Income and this company is actually not as badly affected as some may think. They have tenants like Walmart and Walgreens across the country and these businesses are deemed as essential businesses and are actually having some of the best sale months that they've ever experienced. So chances of these businesses like Walmart for example not paying their rent is slim to none. However, at the same time this company also has other tenants like fitness clubs like LA Fitness or theaters like AMC Theaters which are in a tough financial position currently because the government has essentially forced them to shut down. As a result, these businesses are hurting and chances of them paying their rent is slim to none. In fact, we're actually seeing news now that AMC, which is one of Realty Income's tenants, may file for bankruptcy during these times. And if that does happen, that's a portion of Realty's income that will have to be a write-off here. But like we saw, Realty Income specifically is well diversified with its tenants. So even if some of these fitness centers and movie theaters had to file for bankruptcy, they will still get a good amount of their payments in from other chains that are operating fine during this global issue. So what I'm trying to get at here is that if you're a REIT investor, you really need to spend the time to understand what exactly the holdings are in your REITs. Break it down and look at the tenants that these REITs hold and offer property to 
and kind of make a judgment call then on if you believe that those tenants will be able to fulfill their rent obligation moving forward. You also want to of course look at and see if those tenants will actually get through these tough times and not have to file for bankruptcy because if a majority of their tenants need to file for bankruptcy that's going to be a huge hit to that particular REIT and that in turn may put that REIT in a tough position where they themselves may have to file for bankruptcy as well. A company that I know a lot of you guys hold, NRZ here on YouTube, has recently come out and slashed their dividend. This in my opinion is a sign that the company expects to struggle here in 2020. So if this is a company that you hold for example, I would spend the time to understand their obligations for the next year. Ask questions like who are their tenants and also think about how many defaults that you think they could expect to receive in the coming months. Clearly this company is bracing themselves for a bad situation because they are trying to preserve cash by cutting the dividend. So there may be some high risk involved here with this company. On the other hand, we saw Realty Income actually raise their dividend recently, but don't get too excited because it was only a 0.2% raise. But what it does tell me is that this business is committed to maintaining its dividend and it believes that it can weather through the storm just fine while continuing to reward their shareholders for holding onto the company during these tough times. So when it comes to investing in REIT companies right now, there's definitely a lot of opportunity out there in particular businesses. I'm not gonna make a blanket statement here and say that REITs are not a good investment right now because that's simply not true and there are some businesses out there that have just kind of dropped with the whole sector itself and that's where the opportunity lies. Some companies, like I said, will unfortunately go bankrupt, but some will actually come out of this and be just fine in a couple of years. And if you understand the REITs that you hold in great detail, it's gonna help you sleep a lot better at night. I have no doubt that looking back a few years from now that 2020 is gonna be a great opportunity for many businesses, including REITs. So if you spend the time now to really understand these potential investments, you could be rewarding yourselves greatly for a long-term hold. Now I know there's been a lot of interest in a potential video for specific REITs like Realty Income or Sun Property Group. If you guys want to see me create a comparison video like I have with the hotel industry, cruise lines, banks, etc. If you want me to do one of those for REITs as well, let me know in the comments section down below and just drop a like as well to show your support for this video. Guys, whether you're holding REITs right now or not, I really do hope that you're able to get through these tough times and I hope that all of your investments do come out much stronger than they are right now. But either way, guys, hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to invest positively, and I'll see you in the next one.